गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे इज नाइन्थ ऑफ जुलाई एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द हिंदू इफ यू लाइक दिस इनिशियटिव यू आर इफ यू आर गेटिंग बेनिफिटेड ऑफ दिस इनिशियटिव प्लीज लाइक कमेंट ऑन द वीडियो लेट मी नो इट इनकरेजेस मी टू डू दिस एवरी डे सो प्लीज लाइक इट शेयर इट स्विच ऑन द नोटिफिकेशन सो या Ninth July Saturday, we are discussing the Hindu former Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has been assassinated. It is a big blow to Japan. It is also a setback to India-Japan relationships because he has always been a very vocal advocate of good relationships with India. other than that we do not have any important news we will directly move on to the editorial page in the editorials we have a very detailed article about the situations in middle east it is specifically focusing on the relationship between israel and iran and how the jcpoa joint comprehensive plan of action which was designed or which was signed to control the nuclear program of iran has been failing and how this has increased the tension between israel and iran and how if it is not stopped this can lead to a dangerous conflict like russia and ukraine in future so it's a very good article you should read about this in detail the next article is about beating the heat this this news was there in yesterday's newspaper where we saw that the monsoon temperature is even higher than the average summer temperature of 1951 to 1980s so the in this article it's specifically talking about the urban heat island effect and the heat waves how we can manage that so there are some very good steps which you can keep in your note for gsa per 3 disaster management heat action plans are being designed by different states national disaster management authority has also designed this heat action plans for 23 out of 28 heat prone states the article is also saying that the focus should not only be limited to the urban areas in rural areas also a lot of people die because of heat waves and proper care should be given to them as well the next article is related to gs paper 3 environment the authors are saying that the old style of afforestation planting same kind of trees on non tree land is not effective anymore and if government or any agency is truly serious about protecting the forest ecosystem they should adopt the method of forest landscape restoration in which the plants are grown in such a way that it can mimic the forest different kinds instead of monoculture tree plantation native trees of the region are allowed to grow in a free fair manner as the forests grow they are much more helpful in carbon sequesterization the article is also talking about some of the initiatives taken by the government which are very helpful you should keep a note of this some international steps are also mentioned which you can keep a note of this article is very interesting for india and for the world directly relates to gs paper 1 indian society women issues new zealand in a massive decision they have allowed 
equal payment equal remunerations for women cricketers as per new zealand new zealand has allowed equal payments equal remunerations for women cricketers vis a vis men cricketers before this equal pays were given to women tennis player before that recently united state has allowed equal payment for women national football players so will this will will this lead to equal payment of women cricketers also and this can the authors are hopeful that this can lead to the increased participation of women and break the stereotyping that sports are for men and not for women so next news is about amnesty international which is an ngo there has been a case going on against the amnesty and its founder akar patel although we should no specifically about these two acts fema and fakra acts this is very important for our gs paper 3 syllabus related to money laundering moving forward this news is about defense exports so in gs paper 3 under science and tech topic we have to know about the technological indigenization and all so indian government has india has been able to indigenize self develop many technologies many machines and now we are trying to export those things india has been a import dependent country especially in the case of defense so now we are trying to develop our own weapons and sell them to others as well so it's saying that there has been a big jump 13000 crore which is the highest ever revenue in numbers generated from the exports and the good thing is previously only private players or most of the exports were done by the private players but now the public defense sector units are also contributing into the exports and recently the biggest deal that we have signed is with philippines where we have made a promise to sell brahmos supersonic cruise missiles the next news is coming from northeast khasi hills autonomous district council you might have heard about instrument of accession in terms of jammu and kashmir when jammu and kashmir became a part of india they had signed an instrument of accession a similar paper a similar document was signed by khasi hills autonomous district council or the people of khasi tribe of that time people of meghalaya now they have called a meeting to have a discussion about this instrument of accession and they want some clarity that what are the powers that were given to the state at that time and what are the powers that were given to the center as per this instrument of accession the next news is coming from the opposition in our country congress is opposing this move by the government the government in order to celebrate har ghar tiranga campaign has allowed the national flags to be made of polyester and also it has allowed imports before this when you will read the national flag code as per the national flag code the national flags can only be made of khadi but now government has allowed the flags to be made of 
for listers. On the economic piece, we do not have any important news today. That's the end of today's newspaper. If you will like it, again I am repeating, please like, share and subscribe and do comment. Do let me know. It encourages me a lot. Bye. Have a good day.